want to show you how to do um, the double curl motif. And I find um, they're a little bit tricky. And I always try and add as much thickness as I can because it's actually really um, hard to stay on track. So it takes practice. Now, what I'm going to do is set my stitch width at 3.5. I'm going to put it on a zigzag stitch and I'm going to on the stitch length it's almost on zero so I'm going to just back it off a little from zero I'm going to try to keep my hands out of the way so you can see what's going on okay so I want to start in the down position in the best place possible for the double curl motifs, I find to do this side first is better. And where it's a little tricky, backspace. Okay, it's turning is the problem. So I put my needle down and I turn it just a little bit. And I'm probably going to have to do that. Turn again. Turn again. again because it gets to the point where it's just too much to turn so when you turn it um, you make sure you turn it on the side that is furthest out you'll see you don't want to leave any gaps in there so just check which side. Okay, I'm at the top. I'm going to turn it, but I don't want to go past the line that I just sewed. going to put my needle down it's on this side and turn it again a little bit turn the edges getting stuck over here so I'm going to just not fold it completely but bend it and I turned it I'm going to turn it again And again. Okay. So needle down. I'm turning it. I want to line up. Whoops. My thread is catching. So what I do 
I'm just going to show you what I do, right? If anything happens. That does happen once in a while. So. Now, if you notice also, the foot that I have, it's open. See? If you can see it, it's open. Right? So, so my stitch broke here. Uh, okay. So, put this back. Backstage here. Just turn. Yeah, this is. I didn't check which side I was down. So this is just very slow because you have to turn it as you go. Now, if you want to go faster on this part, Going to whoops, wrong side. I turned on the wrong side, so it left a little gap there. So I just backspaced a little bit. This machine it's manual so I just turn it to a straight stitch and back stitch because for some reason the this main double zigzag the zigzag um, it uh, ties the knot at the beginning but not at the end so what happens is where you ended up if someone starts pulling the thread, it can pull it out. So, so 
So yeah, so now I have four more to go on this purse. I already did the top, I did the belt, and then I'll be putting the purse together. Have a great day. Happy sewing.